From 480 million to zero, that's the Trump administration's budget proposal for the Corporation for Public Broadcasting, the organization behind PBS and NPR. The cut would be painful here in Hampton Roads for WHRO TV and WHRV FM. 13 News Now reporter Mike Gooding has reaction. Well, David, President Trump's budget document describes the many cuts as an aggressive set of actions to redefine the proper place of the federal government. But those who support public broadcasting call these particular cuts a bad idea. I am totally under President Trump's budget. The Corporation for Public Broadcasting would get nothing, no money for PBS, no funding for NPR. It's unfortunate that the administration is again uh, looking to zero us out. WHRO president and CEO Bert Schmidt says such a cut would be a mistake. Public media is consistently shown as the best place to get truly true information that keeps our, our citizens well informed. To not fund that is going against what this nation truly needs. WHRO is owned by a consortium of 19 Hampton Roads public school districts. Well, I'm extremely uh, disappointed and I think as citizens we have to push back. Norfolk School Board Chairman Rodney Jordan says WHRO is a crucial partner. So when we talk about these cuts, I think it's important that we recognize there are educational services from all the way from 12th grade on down, and also they're a foundation for professional development for our teachers, support for our early learners, support for families. Uh, they support uh, all kinds of uh, additional academic program that allows for students to go online and take advantage of their resources. They tie it to our standards of learning. Schmidt, with a membership base of 21,000 contributors at his station, is upbeat. Uh, the American people love public media, and it's reflected in Congress. So we're, we're quite optimistic and hopeful that Congress will do, as they've done every year in the past, um, do what they do with the budget and continue to support public media. And we, of course, wanted to know what our congressional delegation thought about all this. I reached out to the offices of Senator Tim Kaine and Congressman Rob Whitman and Scott Taylor. I'm still waiting to hear back from them all. Reporting live, Mike Gooding, 13 News Now.